Republican Congressman Paul Gosar is a white nationalist. There's really no other way to put it, and he's not even secretly a white nationalist. He's openly and brazenly a white nationalist because he is hosting a fundraiser with Nick Fuentes, who's an open, transparent anti Semite. So this flyer was posted to a Telegram account linked to the PAC America First. And Nick Fuentes promoted this July fundraiser with the ardently pro Trump congressman. So there it is. And so Gosar and his team was asked about this and they don't deny it. In fact, Gosar is totally unapologetic about it. Gosar's chosen label, America First, was of course used by Donald Trump and directly recalls the beliefs of the 1930s nationalist far right, a movement that openly defended Nazism and engaged in flagrant anti Semitism. And of course, Nick Fuentes himself talks about his own white supremacy on a regular basis. Let's get a little taste of that. It was better for them too, number one, but number two, who cares? Who cares? You know, enough with the Jim Crow stuff. Who cares? Oh, they had to drink out of a different water fountain. Big deal. Oh no, they had to go to a different school. Their water fountain in that famous picture was worse. Who cares? Grow up, drink out of the water fountain. It's just water, it's the same. You know, and uh, you know, even if it was bad, who cares? Who cares? It's better. It's better in general. We all agree it was better for them, it's better for us, better in general. Imagine being a United States lawmaker, watching that video and thinking to yourself, yeah, nailed it. I want to be associated with that guy. That's what Paul Gosar is doing. So he, he denies the Holocaust at this point, of course. And, and you just saw it. I mean, he's in favor of segregation, segregation of the races. And Gosar thinks, not the bug, the feature. And Every once in a while, Ilhan Omar will say something like, "Oh, you know, lobbyists give campaign donations." They're like, "Oh, anti-Semite! What? What are you? What are you talking about? Lobbyists do give campaign donations." This guy's like, "Oh, Jews suck! Holocaust never happened! We should segregate the races." Gosar goes to meet him. Everyone's like, "Oh yeah, it's Tuesday." That's that's what Republicans are. And then when you say, "Hey, that's what Republicans are," they're like, "How dare you say that? They're a beloved, cherished party. They're perfectly rational." He said, "She said, I can't tell the difference. I can tell the difference." It, you're, if you see that from Nick Fuentes and then you do an event with him on purpose, this, this is not a new thing. This is not a rando thing. Everybody knows who Nick Fuentes is. Sometimes you go to an event and you didn't know, oh, that dude, that guy's random. I didn't know he was here and I didn't know his past things. Everybody knows Fuentes. It goes to our knows him, right? And and he chooses to go and do an event with him. Yep. Yeah, it's it. Paul Gosar is deeply, deeply racist. Any Republican who supports him is deeply, deeply racist. It's just, it's just a fact. And so, no, but what's amazing, Jenk, is the Republican Party just engaged in this faux outrage in regard to Representative Ilhan Omar asking where exactly victims of war crimes, Israeli war crimes, can go if the United States does not believe in the International Criminal Court prosecuting Israel for potential war crimes. They think that that was anti Semitic because it, when she was asking that question, you know, to Biden officials, she mentioned. You know, if the US does war crimes, Israeli government, Hamas, the Taliban, like she's listing different groups of people, different governments that could be prosecuted. And and they thought just including the same groups in the same sentence is anti Semitic, mm-hmm. right? Paul Gosar is doing a fundraiser with an actual anti Semite, and Republicans are quiet about it. Hey, hey what happened in the Judeo Christian heritage? Oh, when it comes to anti Semites, you don't want any piece of that, right? But hey, look, we want to make sure that the apocalypse starts, Armageddon starts by Israel expanding into the West Bank and Gaza Strip and whatever insane revelations that I think, you know, my leaders convinced me from. That's not, none of it, it's not even in the Bible. It's, it's stupid, dumbass books written in the 1970s in America about end times and how Jesus is gonna vacuum you into the sky as soon as Israel gets all the West Bank Gaza Strip and destroys the Al-Aqsa Mosque. They want to cause death and destruction. And that is why they claim that they're in favor of Judeo-Christian heritage. No, when it comes to actual Jews, they hate them.
They hate him. Is every gonna every Republican gonna denounce Paul Gosar? No, none of them are. But a couple of here, Adam Kinzinger will do it, and a couple of others will do it, right? Right. And then, but he'll go on merrily along his way, just like Marjorie Taylor Greene and her Jewish space lasers, etc. Every time we, you know, look, we've I've said this many times before. We do the interviews with the QAnon guys, the MAGA guys. Uh, especially this guy, uh, Walter Masterson, when he dresses up like them and he turns off the camera, they always say at the end, "Oh, who do you think is really the one responsible? They always say the Jews, okay? So they hate the Jews more than they hate Latinos or Muslims or blacks, et cetera, because they think, oh, they're the puppet masters, these anti-Semitic tropes, et cetera, right? And, and that, that, there's no consequences. No, none. None, so Gosar is gonna say, that's the same guy that, and it add uh, six or seven of his siblings who were like, do not vote for our brother. Our brother has mental health issues, My, our brother's nuts, right? And Republican voters, and don't forget that. Republican voters already saw who Paul Gosar is. And they come around and they go, ooh, we like that guy. And they voted for him. It's not just the politicians, it's the voters. They love that kind of anti-Semitism as they wrap themselves in Judeo-Christian heritage. So now. You, they'll see that he is actively supporting literal white supremacy. Segregation is the definition of white supremacy. Whites should get be above blacks and we should be separated from them because they're not really human. He now supports that and does a fundraiser with him. Will Republican voters still vote for him? You betcha, you betcha. They'll vote for Marjorie, they, they're sending more money to Marjorie Taylor Greene than almost any politician in the country. Now Gosar will probably cash in on this hatred Racism and anti Semitism. There is something deeply wrong with the Republican Party in this country. Deeply wrong. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. We really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.